Hello, you guys, and welcome. My name is Audrey Dehart. I am independent senior executive director and presidential team member with Color Street. And today we're going to walk you through setting up your virtual office to get your business up and going. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here so you can see what we are doing. And we are going to log into our virtual office for the first time. So you can do that by going to a desktop or to your phone's web browser and typing in bo.colorstreet.com. If you're a new stylist, you're going to want to hit this forgot password button and enter your email address so that I can send you the prompts to reset your password and get going with your login information. I've obviously already done that, so I'm going to put in my stylist ID and my password and sign into my virtual office. So you'll notice here that my virtual office does reflect my LLC name in the top right corner. Yours would traditionally be your first and last name. So we're going to click that and click settings. And this is going to bring you to all the information that uh, sets up your profile with Color Street. You just want to make sure that this is accurate. So first and foremost, we ask you to hit this little upload button. That's an old outdated picture of me, but you get the idea to hit this profile picture button so that when we're looking through our virtual office and looking at our team, we don't see that little gray template picture. We get to see your smiling face. So you're going to click upload, edit here, choose a file from your computer and upload so that we get to see you on your virtual office. So we're going to have you start with that, you guys. And then we are going to show you a few of the other things that you're going to want to take care of when you're setting up your virtual office. So you will want to make sure that the email address you have here on file is consistent with what you want all of your business contact to come in. For me, I set up a brand new one. I went with my first and last name. It was very simple and easy to do. A couple of things. You want to make sure that the Color Street web um, email address that you are using does not say Color Street. So your email address, for example, could not be Color Street Audrey Dehart. Um, anytime you are using Color Street in your title or Color Street's um, policy and procedures, it would need to be like Audrey Dehart Independent Color Street Stylist. Obviously, for an email address that's a little long, so I stuck with Audrey Dehart. My um, VIP group's name is Fully Polished Pair, so you could have an email address, for example, that's creative, and that way that says Fully Polished Pair at you know Yahoo.com or whatever hosting you want to use for that. So make sure that your email address is compliant and does not represent you as Color Street. So you're going to want to enter that here. Next, and this is probably the biggest part of this, is you're going to want to make sure that you have your website name set up to what you want it to be. Again, it cannot be. Color Street Audrey D. Hart here as well. So I kept it simple, Audrey D. Hart. It's my first and last name. It's easy to type in and allows people to find me without having to type in the string of numbers that would be assigned to you based on your stylist ID. So make sure that you personalize this, make sure that it does not say Color Street, etc., and that you are good to go. You can get creative here, you guys. You can make it, you know, fancy nails with so and so or whatever speaks to you and is representative of the brand you want to make in Color Street. If you're not sure yet, this is changeable at any time. Start with your first and last name. Don't let it hold you up. Next, you have over here on your left-hand side, you have your eSuite subscription. So this will be set to the um, to show you where your monthly charge for your website is coming out from. Remember, your first month is free. Next, you have notifications. So this is really, really important. You are going to want to make sure that you have your email address entered here and that you hit subscribe. This is going to make sure that all of the weekly corporate communications about launches and newsletters and all of that come to your email address so you're not out of the loop on anything. Next, we have payment methods. So whatever debit or credit card that you use to sign up and purchase your kit is going to be set here as your primary payment method. If you do not want your eSuite 995 monthly subscription to come out of that, you would simply hit the edit button here. If you try to add a new card and then change that to your primary card, it's not going to let it happen and it's not going to let you delete that first card without another card on file. So simply edit that one there and you will be on your way. You guys, that is the basic to setting up your virtual office to getting just your profile and your information ready to go so you can start sharing your website and your Color Street business with people. We are super excited, you guys. This is going to be really exciting and we have lots of goodness to follow for all of you. So be sure to catch our other videos.